all about your mindset like thinking positive talking as if like you know you got to talk like you already have it you can't be negative you can't um down yourself you want to think channel y'all should already know who it is or you should know who it is the ceo of i tasty and i'm back with another video if you are new here be sure to hit that subscribe button don't be a lurker and if you're not new welcome welcome back y'all i'm super excited to record this video like manifesting manifestation is something that i am very passionate about not to say that you know i'm not passionate about anything else on this channel but this is something that is a part of my daily life and if you want to know how to manifest your life, keep on watching, okay? So if you did not know, I am a journal fiend, a notebook fiend. I am big on writing things down. Like from when I was a child, I am a visual learner. I have to write things down. I don't care if the teacher hands me a PowerPoint. I am still going to get out my loose leaf paper and write down notes <laughs> because I'm not about to read this. I need it to stick in my brain. And even when it came to studying for exams, I would write flashcards like I needed to stay in my brain. So these are just some of my journals that I have purchased um, from other businesses that was sent to me. And this one is very special to me because this is actually my personal journal that I designed myself. Shout out to Dip of Graphics, my graphic designer. She brought my vision to life and I dropped these last December. So shout out to everyone who copped one. We sold out within two months, I wanna say. It was definitely less than three months. and. It's called Manifesting the Life I Want, and it's a journal for you to write. And I do plan on dropping the matching affirmation cards to this design, you guys. So stay tuned. The, like I've been telling y'all, my affirmation cards have been been done. It's just left for me to order them. But I've just been procrastinating because like I'm going to speak on in this video, I have so many things planned that I want to do for 2023, and I don't necessarily want to rush it. Like when I drop my new affirmation cards, when I drop my new journal design, when I eventually drop my planner and things that focus on helping entrepreneurs that personally help me that I actually do on a daily basis I wanted to I don't want to kind of rush it I'm not going to say I rushed this journal because it did take me time like once I designed it and everything um, I had the idea on my mind for a minute I just finally decided to do it and like I said all I got to do is pay for the affirmation cards and have it here but I want to like really really promote it like with this y'all still sold me out without the heavy heavy promotion but I hope y'all get what I'm saying so anyways, in this video, we are going to talk about manifestation. I do have some notes and I am actually going to read you guys some of my journal entries, some of my notes, just for you to kind of get an idea of what I mean. And if you have not started doing these things, you can start doing it too. So first things first is all about mindset, y'all. Like you cannot manifest i feel like even if it's not about manifestation if you want to start a business it's all about your mindset like thinking positive talking as if like you know you got to talk like you already have it you can't be negative you can't um down yourself you want to think positive positive at all times like if you know you want something you have to focus and set your mind like for example in 2023 y'all my life is going to be totally different I do plan on moving. I'm not sure like where exactly I'm gonna move. I do have three different places in mind, but the way my mindset is right now, like once my mind is a certain way, I stick to it. And I want to move. I'm going to move next year, God willing. I don't know where. Like I said, I had three places in mind, but if I know I'm about to move, I'm working towards getting there. I still have a few months left to save and, you know, build my business up before my move, get myself together. You can't just say, oh, I want to move. Oh, I want a luxury apartment. Oh, I want a G-Wagon. Girl, if you want a G-Wagon, I promise you, you can get that G-Wagon. My goal is to get one for my 30th birthday, though. But um, if you want a G-Wagon, girl, I don't care how much money you are making at the time when you watch this video. I promise you, you will get that G-Wagon one day. Even if you don't get it tomorrow, even if you don't get it next year, you will get it. If you have your mindset 
set to that G-Wagon, if you take steps, if you work towards getting it, if you manifest it, you will get it. Because manifesting is not just about writing it down. And that's things that people get confused. Just because you write down your goals does not mean it's going to be accomplished. You still have to work towards it. Manifesting is just like a reminder for you to see it and for it to stay in your brain. But like I said, there's so many things that I'm trying to do next year, like business-wise, personal life-wise, and I know I want to do these things, so what am I doing right now? I'm working towards those things. So I'm just going to like read, this is my personal journal, and I'm going to read um, one of my entries in here for y'all. One thing that I like to do, so if you're trying to manifest, is I write goals for myself every single month. On January 1st, I write me a to uh, basically a goal list for the year, a general list. Like back in 2021, some of my, because um, I'm not going to speak on my goals for this year, but back in 2021, some of my major goals in um, on January 1st was to graduate that year, was to get my trademark, um, graduate, get my trademark. I just had so many like five major goals. I tried to give myself five goals to crush for the year. And I did end up crushing all of my goals, but one I didn't accomplish to like, cause some of my goals I try to accomplish it by my birthday, if not by the end of the year. I didn't accomplish all by my birthday, but I did accomplish it for the year because my birthday is in June. So I sometimes try to push myself like by my birthday, you know, I wanna reach this. But one thing you do wanna do is set a goal every month as well. You wanna set yourself yearly goals. You wanna set yourself monthly goals you want to set yourself weekly goals and you want to set yourself daily goals y'all I know this may seem like a lot but I promise you if you have not been doing this and you do it I promise you you will see a shift in your life like the night before I go to bed I write myself a goal list a to-do list this is what I'm going to do tomorrow even if you work your full-time job y'all I have been working my job so months ago I recently quit my job. It's not like I've been out of work for a year. So working your job is not an excuse. You may not be able to get stuff done every single day when it comes to your business or whatever else you have going on besides your full-time job, but you still want to set yourself goals even when it comes to your job. I'm going to go to work. I'm going to do this when I come home. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. You still want to do that. So um, let me read something for y'all. Um, this is probably something I could read right here. So this was something that I actually wrote this year. <laughs> this was something that I wrote this year. And this is something that I've spoke on this channel already. I had manifestation videos. And basically, I write, if you have not done this, pause the video, get you a paper or get you a journal, come back to this video and you want to draw a line in the middle of the page and you want to put a now and future. So on the now side of the paper, you want to put where you are in life now or like with the goals and then for the future, you want to put where you want to be. Y'all, this, like I said, I wrote this January 1st of 2022. This is a surprise to me looking back for this video. On the now side of the column, I wrote working my nine to five. On the future, I wrote full-time entrepreneur. <laughs> On the now side, I had one car. On the future side, I have two cars. On the now side, I had LLC and registration. On the future side, I had trademark. So those are just three things that I wrote, what, nine months ago, January 1st of 2022 in this journal that I have accomplished. Here is something else. For example, like how I told you I set myself mark monthly goals. These are goals that I wrote on uh, February 28th, 2022. And these were my goals for the month of March. And y'all, I have accomplished all of these goals. I did not necessarily, there was only one goal that I did not accomplish in March, which was getting 7,500 subscribers on YouTube. But look at us now, we're at 10,000 subscribers within the same year. So my goals for March of 2022 was to get 7,500 subscribers on YouTube, 22,000 followers on TikTok. Now on TikTok, I believe we are at 35, let me check for y'all. We are at 36.2K. 28,000 followers on Instagram. On Instagram, we are at 
67.5, have a huge flash sale, which we did, and sell at least 50 mystery bundles, which we did, we surpassed. So that is just an example, y'all, of things I wrote down. And like I said, I did not just write down these things. I actually worked towards it. I actually took actions. I did not just sit here and say, hmm, I wanna be a full-time entrepreneur. And if you have not seen my um, entrepreneur video, watch the video before quitting your job, you need to watch that video. If you are still working your nine to five and you wanna become an entrepreneur, you definitely need to watch that video. <laughs> it's crazy that that video is not, the views are not giving, but that is a very good video. Anybody that has watched that video will tell you that you must watch that video, okay? So if you haven't, watch that video. The next thing that I wanna speak on is, um, like I said, taking action. If you want a new car, if you wanna move, if you want to quit your nine to five and be a full-time entrepreneur, what are you doing? Like a lot of things that people don't realize is once you actually quit your full-time job, you're actually working 10 times harder. And this is coming from somebody that I was working my full-time job, I was going to school full-time, and I was also running my business. And at one point, three businesses before I separated with business partners. But um, I feel like now I'm working 10 times as hard. And I feel like I'm working 10 times as hard because I don't have my full-time job income. Because you know, when you work a full-time job, your job, I, I would assume, pays your bills. Like for me, whether I'm getting orders on my website or not, my bills are paid, okay? My full-time job, I hate going there, but it's covering my bills. Now, once you quit your job, your whatever other income you have, may not be doing the same thing so that's why i feel like you have to work 10 times as hard now before i quit my job y'all like i said watch that video i made sure to have other sources of income so that way i'm not a thousand percent just relying on my business and sales because if you're gonna rely on just your business it's not gonna work because y'all know business is not consistent um you never know how much money you're gonna make so please don't up and run and quit your job you know not knowing because you're never going to know how much money your business is going to make, if it's going to be enough to pay your bills, if you have kids, and all those other things. But like I said, taking action. If you want something, what are you going to do to get it? Are you going to work extra hours at work? Are you going to get another job to help you pay it off faster? There are so many side hustle jobs out here, y'all. Whether it's Uber, DoorDash, Instacart, um, there are so many ways that you can make money in this day and age. It's no excuse. If you want that car, you can get that car. Get another job. There's nothing wrong with getting another job, even if it's temporarily, you know, to reach your goals. And like I said, y'all, I even this journal, I've had this since 2019. <laughs> I wrote this before I started my business. And I said, start off with lashes, gloss, and glitter. Have at least 100 followers on Instagram. Start a YouTube channel make at least $500 in sales. These were my short-term goals I wrote before I started my business because I started my business September. I wrote this in October. But it's just crazy that I wanted to start a YouTube channel. I wanted to just make $500, y'all. I was just like, I need to make $500. I have my entry from when I decided to be a wholesale vendor. I decided to be a wholesale vendor. Um, I made $128 in sales today and hopefully I will make $200 more $200 more in sales before the end of November I'm gonna start selling my personal lashes wholesale too like y'all it's crazy when you write things down y'all <laughs> it's crazy me looking at this right now this is another um thing that I told y'all life goals like future goals and where I'm at now Back in October of 2020 I I was had my purple challenger I wanted it pink I was living with my parents. I wanted to get a house. I was still working my nine to five. The nine to five part has always been on my bucket list, like becoming a full-time entrepreneur. But at the same time, y'all, I was not rushing it because um, I've heard like, you know, different experiences from other entrepreneurs and 
you have like i said you got to work 10 times as hard so if you are wanting to manifest your life like i said y'all get in the habit of writing things down if you don't have a notebook go to your local dollar tree dollar 75 tree dollar 25 tree and get you a journal it doesn't have to be anything fancy i literally bought this one at um dollar tree and if you are looking for other ways to stay motivated and stay like i said y'all stay tuned because 2022 the drops that I have coming for 2022, like I'm just so excited. I have all the ideas in my head and I'm just waiting to manifest it. Like I said, even with my personal life, like there's so many things that I want to do next year. Like I'm literally setting myself up right now because next year, y'all, I don't want to work as hard as I'm working now. Like if you know how much I have to work, like I am legit working every single day, 24 hours a day. Well, not 24 hours a day, but I'm working like every single day. Like I'm not complaining, but I'm just saying like when it comes to creating content, because I do so many things. I have a YouTube channel. I am a business owner. So I have a business and you know, being a business owner, you pretty much have to promote every single day. I go live on almost every single day that takes hours that takes time out the day then creating content for my business page i'm also building my personal page up to become like i'm a content creator on my personal page so i'm creating content for that page as well so it's like i'm running two instagrams trying to build two instagrams up not including the other platforms that i'm on trying to build those up as well i'm working on building up my pinterest um building up my twitter like I said, YouTube, like I am legit working all day, every day. And right now, this is 11.58. This is my second YouTube video for the day for the following month. So I am doing good when it comes to working ahead. But like I said, y'all, next year, I'm not trying to work as hard as I'm working now. I kind of want to set myself up these last three months to where, because this video is being recorded in September. I have October, November, December, and so do you. So if you know that there are goals, if you're watching this video right now and you know that you already see a life that you want for yourself in 2023, start working towards it now if you want to quit your job in 2023 start working towards it now start saving up for your create an exit plan start saving up if you need to get another job to help you stay faster to leave so that way you'll still be good for a few months then do that if you're trying to move start saving up for that start looking at things start you know wrapping your head around like you know start working towards it and that's how manifestation works like i said manifesting is not just about writing it down it's also about your actions. It's also about your mindset. You can't see yourself living a luxury lifestyle, but you're thinking negative thoughts. You're thinking, oh, I'm never going to get there because, girl, you're going to get there. You can get anything that you want in life. I don't care if it's a Chanel bag. I don't care if it's a materialistic item. I don't care if it's an actual like house or something. If you want it, you can get it. And don't let anybody tell you otherwise, because even with me, there are things that I've achieved in life that just two to three years ago, I didn't even think was possible. If somebody would have told me that, I would have been like, ain't no way. But here we are, okay? I am 25 years old, and I have accomplished a lot being 25 and i am so proud of myself because if you've known me if you know me personally then you know this journey has not been easy and that i have come a very very long way okay i've come a long way and i'm just so proud of my growth as a person i'm so proud of my growth as a mindset especially when it comes to 2021 was a very dark year for me. Like I don't speak on it as much and a lot of people don't even know, but 2021 was a very dark and depressing year for me. Yes, I had so many good things going on in my life. I got my house like business wise, I graduated, but personal life wise, so many things happened in my life that year, like that took a toll on me and I was in a serious depression etc and i'm just grateful that i'm no longer in that place i will never put myself back in that place again okay positive vibes only reaching these goals only and if you're not contributing to my goals if you're not contributing to pushing me to my full potential then you gotta go snip 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 it ain't nothing to cut that off <laughs> but anyways y'all i hope y'all like this video i kind of rambled a little bit but hey y'all got the point 
I hope y'all like this video. Hit the like button, subscribe, leave me a comment on your thoughts on manifestation. Have you ever manifested anything in your life? Um, what are some of the things? You don't necessarily have to like say everything you're trying to do in 2023, but can you relate to the fact that you have things you're trying to do in 2023 and you're starting to work towards it now? Because these three months you can get a lot done, okay? So I will see y'all on the next video. Bye!